My name is Alyssa Bossman and I am a senior health services administration major and I'm from Humboldt, South Dakota. I went on vacation with my sister and every morning I would wake up with a like insane headache. It would make me cry like it was so so bad and then it wouldn't go away until I threw up. Then when we were coming back we stopped at a gas station one time and I got out and I just stopped. I couldn't walk like I just stood there and I was like Jackie like can you hold on to me for a second? Like I can't move. So then I got back to Vermilion on that Wednesday or Thursday and I was just setting up my apartment and I would literally like do two things and have to lay down. No mother wants to sit there and watch their child suffer and not be able to do anything to help them. I mean, we tried the ice, we tried the heating pads, we tried medicine. We tried chiropractors, we tried, we were about to do massages and yeah. try and figure out because everybody kept saying it was a tension headache and I, I thought, but when she couldn't walk, when she was on vacation with her sister and physically couldn't walk, I thought, why would she have a tension headache on vacation? Who is that stressed when they're on vacation? And why can't she walk? This has got to be something different. So when he first told me, I didn't even look it up. I really do think that having no thoughts on the subject, going into surgery is what made it a good surgery. <laughs> like they got it all out because I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't scared. Like I just was like, this is what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna be okay when I wake up. Like it's just gonna be that. I literally didn't have an opportunity to be sad when I was in the hospital. Like if you look on my Facebook post, I had like 400 people love it and like it and like 200 comments like every time I looked down at my phone I had another person like I cried so many times just from reading the sweet comments from people like people that barely even knew me. I think she's gonna drive again. Yeah I'm cleared now. She's so. clear to drive and Thank clear gosh. to do everything and the walking has come back. She was very unsure in the first couple days of walking. It was like she wasn't falling over, but she was just wanted to hold on to something all the time. It kind of felt like I was on like a balance beam. Like I was like, could just tip over or something. It was weird. I'm just so grateful. And so we feel so fortunate that she came out of this so well. I mean, so many things could have gone wrong. 